Hello and welcome, I'm the Medicated Gamer and today I'm bringing you a vaping 101 tutorial for you beginners out there all about vaping. Today's video is actually going to focus on those three numbers that most people have a little bit of difficulty when they just start vaping. That's ohms, watts, and voltage. What are these three numbers? What do they mean together? Why would you change these settings? And pretty much everything explained about them. So to start off with, we have amps, watts, ohms, and voltage. Start off with, we have watts. Watts is your power. This is how much juice you're actually going to be pushing through your device. Next, we have amps. You don't really mess around with amps too often, but on some devices, it'll tell you your amps. And to know the equations, yes, there is some math involved. Um, you're going to have to know your amps. And amps is essentially volume. Just think about... Um, water flowing through a pipe, like how much water is actually flowing through that pipe. Um, next we're going to talk about ohms. Ohms is something you cannot change unless you make your coils yourself. If you build your coils, then, then you can change them. However, if you're like most people, you buy a tank, you buy pre-built coils. It'll tell you on it, uh, 1.2 ohm, 0 0.12, 0 0.5, it'll tell you what the ohms is on it. You don't have to worry about it, you cannot change it. I don't know how many times I've heard people say, oh man, uh, uh, I need to change the ohms on this thing. And I'm like, you, you can't. So ohms. Ohms is resistance. Remember that. With electricity, you'll, you'll hear a lot about resistance. Ohms is your constant. You cannot change this unless you make your coils yourself. You cannot change this. This is something that when you buy your coil, you prefabricate a coil that you put into your tank, not talking about RDAs, when you put it into your tank, that is what it is. You cannot change it. You can change your watts that goes into it, which changes the whole equation, but you cannot change your ohms. Your ohms is your constant. And lastly, we have volts. Volt is a measure of how much pressure that each electron is under. So it's a little more technical. You don't really need to worry about um, what it means exactly, I'll tell you after about the, the comfort range. There's usually a range of what you'd like to keep that number in. Now, let's jump into the equations here. That's right, equations. Okay, so you're going to start off with your power or your watts. Your watts equals the voltage multiplied by the amps. Now, some vapes, they don't tell you anything about the amps, so how do you figure this out if you don't know this? Well, to figure out your amps, amps is voltage divided by resistance. Resistance is, once again, those ohms, so voltage divided by ohms. And that's how you find your amps. Amps multiplied by voltage equals your wattage. If you change your wattage, you're going to be changing your voltage because of the, the, the ohms, because of what the ohms are built at. If you change your wattage, your voltage is going to change. So what does this all mean exactly? Well, depending off of your coil that you have in your tank, you're going to have to change your watts accordingly to get a comfortable voltage, which is like how quickly and how hot this is being vaped off, essentially. So let's just say, hypothetically, you have a 0.5 ohm coil. 0.5, that's about, you know, middle, middle class, not too low, not too high, but now you're going to have to change your wattage is your watts to give you an appropriate voltage. You need to change your watts to fit your ohmed coil to give you the appropriate voltage. Voltage is essentially what you're looking for when adjusting uh, your vape setup. Um, I find that my vape comfort range is anywhere between a 3.4 volts and 4.8 volts. This, you know, it depends off of what type of coil you're running, of course. However, I find this, this is my comfort range. I will adjust my watts accordingly to fit the ohm coil so that the volts will be somewhere between 3.4 and 4.8. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm the Medicated Gamer. If this video helped you out, please let me know. If it didn't and you need more explaining, please also let me know. Drop your comments down in the box. 
below and I will get to them as quickly as possible. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more vaping, gaming, and much, much more.